Michelle here from Strawberry Designs, and today is a DIY t-shirt collaboration that I'm hosting. So please make sure that after you're done watching this video, you check out all the other videos in the playlist below and go see what they have to offer. And if you're new here, please subscribe. I am going to be doing five different t-shirts that are all no sew, and they're all made by just cutting and tying, and they're easy peasy, make them super cute. Number one, the first shirt I'm gonna show you has a back cutout design. As you can see here, I'm wearing it with a strappy bralette. So first thing you're gonna do is you're going to cut out the neck of the shirt. Now this t-shirt is from Aquatic Science Adventure Camp at Texas State University where I've been a counselor for two years. This was last year's shirt and I wore it this year and I got a lot of compliments on it. Um, a lot of people liked it. It is an awesome camp if you are in Texas and you have a kid I would highly recommend this camp or if you're a teacher you can go and help out and get professional development credit at the same time. I am using a rotary cutter that has a little bit of a wavy edge to it to cut this, but you could definitely do this with scissors or a straight rotary cutter. I didn't want to cut through the words, so I cut three stripes in between the words, and now I'm just stretching the fabric, and I'm going to use part of the collar to create a bow. Now, the collar fabric itself is a little thicker and chunkier, so it doesn't really work as well, so I'm using the excess that I cut around the neck just to make a small little strip that I can use to tie around and create my little bow. I think this shirt turned out super cute and it was really simple to make. Shirt number two. Now this is a tank top that I got at a thrift store and it's actually a little bit too big for me so I did make a little bit of an adjustment. I love the sunburst pattern though that was on the front. So the first thing I did is I just cut a little slit right up the front and that will help me to adjust the size of it later. Then in the back I took the sunburst pattern and I just used my rotary cutter again to mimic that shape, stretched them all out, and that's it, I'm done. And so you just tie the front where you did that, that helps make it a little bit smaller. And there's the back of it. Again, super cute look. Number three. This t-shirt is from the school that I teach at, where the Mustangs, and it has this lace-up detail in the back using just a little piece of cord. So first thing you're going to do is cut the neck out. Once you've cut the neck out, you can open it up and you can cut a big V in the back if the shirt is too big for you or if the shirt fits you correctly like this shirt does, just go straight down. Also know that right about underneath the armpits would be where your bra strap is and if you don't want that to show, you don't want to cut much lower than that line. Here I'm taking a piece of chalk and I'm just marking out some holes that I want to cut out of my shirt and I'm just kind of eyeballing this. And then I found out that my big crocodile hole punch actually cuts through fabric, so I'm using that. You could always poke a hole with some kind of pin or your scissors or something to create the same holes. I did a shirt similar to this in a previous video that had a much larger holes because I used another t-shirt to lace through it. So I will have a link to that in the iCard and in the playlist and, and down below in the description. And so here I'm using my cord to lace up the back just like you would lace up a pair of shoes. And once I get to the top, I'm just going to tie my cord in a bow. Uh, I did double knot at first and then tied it in a bow so that it wouldn't come loose. And then you're done. And this is the lace up detail on the back of the shirt. Very cute. Number four. This shirt is actually my favorite shirt that I've created this summer and I just love the little cutout details on the shoulders. So you cut out the neck and then you're going to cut little triangles all from the neck to the sleeves. Once you've cut out those triangles you're going to stretch the fabric and then tie the two pieces in a knot. Stretch and tie, stretch and tie, all the way across. And I just think this shirt turned out just super cute and adorable. Love it. 
Number five. This shirt is a variation of the last one. At my school, your shirts have to be four fingers wide up at the top for modesty type purposes, your tank tops and all. So I created this one so that it has those four fingers of space. So the first thing, of course, I do is cut out the collar. That seems to be a, a running thing that I do each time. I did go back later on and make this one more of a v-neck. And here I am, I'm taking my chalk and I'm just going to kind of guesstimate where I want my little triangles to be. And I'm gonna draw in those triangles on the shirt, as you can see there, leaving at least four fingers worth of space. And then I'm going to try to kind of match them on the other sleeve. I'm not being very precise here at all, as you can tell, but it still works out. And then I'm going to cut out each of those triangles, as you can see here. And once the triangles are cut out, then you are just going to start tying. I am taking my hole punch and I am punching a hole in this section at the main part of the shirt. I'll show you why in just a minute. So now you're going to stretch each of those little pieces and that gives you just a little bit longer piece of fabric to tie and I am tying them in double knots. So if you don't remember your double knots, it's right over left and then left over right. And each of those triangles is just being tied to the one from the front to the one to the back. Now when I get to this end one, I'm sticking my little triangle fabric pieces through those holes that I cut and there it is. It's school appropriate and still very, very cute. Here are all the shirts that I created today. Make sure you check out all the other t-shirt DIYs in the collab. Playlist will be linked below. Subscribe to my channel and have a great day crafting away.